you mentioned the truth. Um, so let's go back to your wife knowing the truth, but you didn't at the time. Uh, what happened from there? She made me watch The Shack. You know, it's a movie. I had seen the book in prison, but I had never really read it. And uh, that movie, uh, it, it changed, changed the way that I felt about God. I, I came to realize that, you know, he, he wanted me to tell him how mad I was. He wanted me to tell him how I felt. Like he wanted all these things and I, I didn't under, I didn't know, you know, I didn't know that, that I could do that or I just, I didn't know nothing about religion. So I didn't even know how to, call, I didn't even know how to pray. So when I watched that movie, I mean, it was, I couldn't stop crying. I couldn't stop crying because I started to feel something. Something was like moving around in here and I just didn't know what it was. So uh, that's where it started. I started to get more curious after that and um, I would ask my wife questions and I have a, 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 a teacher that's my friend, John Humphrey. He ends up discipling me later, but you know, good Christian man has been a Christian since he was nine years old cop for 30 years. Um, the unlikeliest friend I would ever have, and he's like one of my best friends now. Um, he started, you know, teaching me and showing me and gave me some devotions to read. And he started coming over to the house. And uh, November 6th, November 6th, I fell down to my knees. And I just said, I mean, you have my attention. Like, I, I, I just didn't know what to do from there. And um, I'll never forget, I mean, the feeling I got, uh, I started crying. I, I put my head to the floor because I felt like so embarrassed that I couldn't even look up. I started confessing everything out of my mouth. I don't even know why. I didn't, I didn't even know that I had to do that. And it just all started coming out, everything, everything. Who I hated, who I had you know, jealousy against, who, who I lusted against, like just everything started coming out. And um, I, I just felt like a new person when I got up that day. Something was different and it was in here. So I, I started to study more. I started to study more. Um, I started looking for a church. I started befriending more Christian men. And um, here I am today. <laughs> In your early walk, what was the most surprising thing you learned about God or his characteristics? Just the love. The, just the love that you share with him is so powerful. Um, you know, one of the biggest things that I love doing now is talking to him and telling him how I'm feeling and just telling him <clears throat> that I need, I need his help. I need his strength to, to get by when I'm having bad days, you know, or, or just having trouble in my life. Um, I think one of the biggest things that I've learned is to trust him. Since uh, you began your walk with the Lord, I assume you've had to get some pushback, maybe from uh, people in your past life, uh, whether it be family or anybody, um, maybe some naysayers or people that doubt that it's real, it's going to last. Um, was there any of that? Well, at the beginning, a lot of people thought I was full of crap. A lot of people thought that I was like chasing the cloud or you know chasing likes and stuff like that. And and I, I understand, I get it. I mean, they they watched me for years, you know, swearing and and saying just crazy stuff out of my my mouth, and and they couldn't understand this new JC. <laughs> they couldn't understand that 
I always do the comparison. I went from being a Tasmanian devil to Winnie the Pooh. You know, I'm Winnie the Pooh now. So it, it's like, for them, it was a shocker and they didn't believe it. Didn't believe it because I mean, I was that, I was that person for 40 something years. So uh, the, the biggest, I say I, that eye opener for me was when I went back to the gym after I started my walk because I had to apologize to everybody that I was rude to and that I offended and I hurt their feelings. Like I had to apologize to every single person in there. And um, it was very powerful.